Hi guys, it's me, Leonie Joyce, and I'm here with Lashana Lynch and Kingsley Benedict. How are you both doing? Good then. I'm good now. Redemption <laughs> song. When you write that? All my life. Are you ready for Yeah, no, the film had a lot of joy, feel-good vibes. So I want to keep that going for today. I want to play a little game with the both of you. How does that sound? Uh-oh. Let's see. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> so I call this the Leone Joyce plot twist quiz. Okay. So as I said, the film, amazing. So many talented actresses, actors, and a lot of British talent as well. I'd say like the both of you. We had Tossin Cole, Michael Ward. Andy Walsh. Mm -hmm. Speaking of amazing British talent, Kingsley, what do you have in common with Daniel Craig and Michaela Cole? Uh, we both went to Guild, we all went to Guild. You did, you yeah. did. And did you find that like, I guess going to a music school, did you bring any of that into your role to play Bob Marley? Or? I mean, we did, we did a bit, we did a bit of that yeah. at school. I, I feel like on on the way to lunch, you'd always hear the the classical musicians. I used to go down to the jazz, um, the jazz music course. They used to rehearse in the basement mm. um, on Fridays and Saturdays, yeah. and I used to go down and get a drink and watch these young kids who were like masters of their craft. Mm -hmm. That was being at the being at Guildhall. And it was ninety percent of it was a music school. Yeah, it was a, the ten percent of it was the acting corridor. Yeah, so some of those kids there are like the third, fourth best in the world at what they do, okay. and they're still training. That was yeah. what was fascinating. Mm -hmm. You'd hear stories about there's this kid coming from Korea, mm -hmm. and he's like a genius on the piano, and so it was it was it was mad. It wasn't yeah. always, and we collaborated mm -hmm. with them sometimes in a little bit. Yeah. Did I bring that into playing Bob? I don't know. Maybe some. Maybe somewhere. somewhere. But I, I definitely felt like I was starting from scratch with the yeah. guitar and and singing and okay. all of that. And I guess you said everybody was owning in their crafts, and I would say that's definitely something you've done because you've played some iconic roles. I mean, Ken, Malcolm X, now Bob Marley, all in one lifetime. Iconic, I must say. Um, and you truly captured the essence of Bob Marley in this film. Speaking of essence, in 2020, mm -hmm. which UK actress was honored at the Essence Awards for her role of 007? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mad Awards. <laughs> Mad Awards, amazing talent, I must say. And we see that in your portrayal of Rita Marley in this film. And what I also love we get to see in this film is the making of the music, what went into making the album Exodus, for example, Rita traveling down to London to be there for that spoiler alert, if you don't know. Um, <laughs> Speaking of the album, Exodus actually was, you know, re the vinyl came out again back in 2015. Speaking of 2015. Yes. <laughs> Where was I? I, get, I don't know why I feel nervous. <laughs> no, I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> Willie Russell made a play hmm. starring Lenny Henry. Do you know the name of this play? Yes, yeah, so this is not your first time playing Rita. It's my second Rita. I didn't connect that. Not even there. <laughs> wow. Gosh, yeah. My first Rita, a Liverpoolian Rita, <laughs> <laughs> which is very, very different. Um, I, I was at drama school learning all of the accents that I could many years ago, and I thought, I'm never going to do a Liverpoolian accent. That when was the one. I, I just know it's just not going to happen. Mm. And then it came up, and I was so glad that. I learned that because I felt so comfortable in that role. Mm. Um, Semi uncomfortable on stage because there's only two of us yeah. and you only have each other to rely <laughs> on. Um, but it was really nice. And I'm from theatre, so that was, you yeah. know, it was great to be able to get that under my belt. I guess. Yeah, you could say like full circle. And for example, I like to say I'm curious, not nosy. I was doing my research and saw you started out songwriting. Mm. Um, would you say you brought that into playing the role of Rita Marley for this film as well? Uh, yes and yeah. no. Um, because I, I, I guess I focused more on who she was as a spirit, as okay. a soul, and yeah. who she was to Bob. That The music, it felt like I was just serving Bob. Yeah. It never felt like... You know, we, we mentioned in a film her journey included her having to take a back seat on her her own career in mm -hmm. order to lead the life that she ended up leading with 
um, Bob being a wife and a and a mother to their children yeah. and other children and just every it seemed like everybody she was a mother to everyone. Yeah. Um, so it was it was incredible to be able to bring that into the, a film again. I'd just done Matilda not long before yeah. that and was able to sing in that. Mm. This was less about the vocals and more about providing the strength from the side of the stage for this man, mm-hmm. so that I knew that what me and um, Naomi and Savannah were doing was strong and in unison enough to not replicate, but to be able to create our own little live show in Europe or Jamaica or wherever we yeah. were um, to keep it, yeah, to keep it authentic in, a, in the best way we can. Yeah, I, if that answers your question. And you both truly did that and supported each other so well in this film. Guys, February 14th, please, please, please make sure you go and check it out. Thank you so much for an amazing film, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Thanks you so very much. much. Yeah, Thank you. you. I want the world to change. And that time is now.